Math and Beats. Welcome back. In this video, we're going to talk about open, closed, and half open intervals of real numbers. So let's go. All right, let's get to it. Open and close intervals, and we're going to do them using interval notation. Whole other video on interval notation uh, in case you forgot what that is, but this would be somewhat of a refresher. Now, when we talk about these open and closed intervals, specifically of real numbers that we're going to be focusing on, uh, sometimes we can think of these as open and closed intervals, which are continuous in nature, as we say. Continuous intervals of real numbers. And we'll see why in a moment. So let's look at what they are. Firstly, the closed interval denoted right here by bracket a comma b and then another bracket what that means is just the collection of all these real numbers say that let's call them x such that x is between two other real numbers a and b and you include those endpoints a and b so just to refresh the the bracket symbols these tell us inclusive we include the endpoints of the interval and when we have such an interval, we call it a closed interval. So it's just a way of saying uh, whether or not we're including the endpoints. Graphically, if you wanted to visualize, we're just talking about a collection of real numbers, say x's, that are between a and b and include everything in between. So that's partly why we also refer to such an intervals as continuous because uh, there's no gaps or jumps or anything in between A and B. Every single real number that you could think of between A and B is included. Notice that all that so far, this one, and you'll see the ones that we're going to look at uh, in a moment, these are all subsets of real numbers, right? It's not all the real numbers, but it's a bunch of real numbers, and so everything in these sets also in the real numbers. That's why it's relevant. Most of the uh, types of intervals that we look at in a calc uh, single variable setting are, are very much like this. What about an open interval? Open interval very similar to the closed interval. Open, except now here's the notation. Instead of using the brackets, we use the parentheses to say, all right, it's the collection of these x values, these real x values between a and b, but now we're not going to include the a nor the b. So the parentheses symbol, just to recall, means uh, don't include, right? We don't include the endpoints. So when we don't include the endpoints, we call the interval open. When we do uh, include the endpoints, we call the interval closed. Just to visualize the open interval, it's going to look very similar to the one we drew above, except here's A, here's B, and then we don't include the A or the B. So we draw little open holes there, but we do include everything in between. So closed and open intervals, there we go. What about a half open, or depending how you look at it, half close is the glass half full or half empty kind of thing. So you call it either one. Uh, usually we just say half open. And what that means is one of the endpoints is included in the interval and the other one is not. So there's two ways that can happen. This one right here, the first one, we're including the left-hand endpoint A, but not the right-hand endpoint B. Or it could be the other way around, where we don't include the left-hand endpoint A, but we do include the right-hand endpoint B. Both of those, we say, are either half open or half closed because one of the endpoints is included and the other one is not. All right, there's also some other subsets of real numbers which involve using these um, intervals. And these are the types we refer to as unbounded intervals. Let me rewrite that underline there, unbounded intervals. And so what are these? This involves 
some type of interval where at least one of the sides in the inequality or one of the quote unquote endpoints becomes infinite in magnitude. So here's how we can write them, a few different types. Notice this first row here. Both of those are of a similar form where we're starting at some real number A and we're saying we're going to have all the real numbers that are bigger than that in the first one, not including the A, but in the second one, we include the A. So you're just thinking about collection of real numbers on a graph here, number graph. And then here's A, and we're talking about every single real number that's to the right of it, bigger than it. And then depending if we're using the endpoint or not, then we would put, you know, a open circle or a closed circle. And then the other way around, the second row here is saying, let's, let's go to some number B, and we're going to have every single real number that's less than this number B or less than or equal to, depending if we're including the, the endpoint B or not. Uh, of course, we're putting the bracket with the parentheses, so graphically it would look something like this. Here is some number B, and we're talking about all the numbers to the left of it smaller than it and then again if we include the b or not we'd have to put the uh, hole or the closed circle there one thing to note you know, said right here below is that every time you see the symbol infinity in this descriptions of the unbounded intervals we're always put in the parentheses we never put a bracket there it's a notation thing that you got to be aware of because infinity is not a real number, so we're not going to include that. Right? It's just a symbol for us to say, just keep going on that direction forever. Never can get to it because it's not a number itself. So please be aware of that. And then that's just about it for this short video. Close intervals, open intervals, half open or half closed intervals, and the different types of unbounded intervals that we commonly see in the mathematical setting, uh, specifically in the calculus setting. So um, that's it. In the next video, we're going to talk about how to get sets and combine them in a few different ways. And then we'll be moving on to some calculus topics. So that's it for the video. Until next time. Later.